Eckert. Hey. It's a pleasure to have you here. How are Thank you doing? You. You're doing great. Doing great. Anxious to play. Yeah. Great. Had a good night's sleep last night. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. We partied all night. Yeah. That's good too. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, how did happen uh, the reconciliation with Mike and Metal Church? Um, well, I, it happened kind of very organically. A couple years ago, I was speaking with Mike. I had talk to him in a while about a project I'm trying to work out with uh, Nigel from Saxon we've been talking about it for a few years but we're both pretty busy um, but anyway I talked to him about that uh, and I was talking to Mike about uh, maybe singing for her thinking about it and I was just kind of getting in touch with Mike for just because I hadn't spoken to him in a while and uh, then literally a week to the day after I had spoken to Mike uh, I found ourselves in Metal Church needed a lead singer. So I went back to Mike and said, well, instead of the side project, how would you feel about, uh, you know, coming back to Metal Church? <laughs> and because uh, I honestly didn't think having a f hiring a fourth singer for Metal Church didn't seem right to me. That was just like, no, nah, I can't, I can't do that. So anyway, so, uh, so that started the conversation and then we took it uh, step by step, piece by piece, you know, started writing some songs and uh, he wanted to make sure that the record was going to be good. He wanted to make sure that the way we did business was different than when we worked together before. And I, you know, explained to him how the new business is and how we do things now, and just step by step by step. And we had uh, we just started working on material. And when we felt we had a great record, then he said, "Yeah, let's do this." Yeah. So it was great, and it's been great ever since. So it feels like it's 1984 and the band's taking off. Things for Metal Church now are actually better than they've been in a long time. If probably better than ever now so that's cool yeah it's really cool it's really awesome especially now <laughs> you know? yeah so, so um, the result of this uh, reconciliation uh, is your last album uh, which have great su success mm -hmm. uh, great reviews everywhere so yeah have to very be proud lucky. of it oh yeah I'm very happy with that yeah. and uh, would you like to tell us something more about its genesis and lyrics um, well, the genesis, like I said, just was uh, just piece by piece. Mike started writing songs, and we had no record company pressure, which is something that we wanted differently than the last time. We had nobody else other than the band in influencing our songs and our process, and uh, and doing it that way. The songs were done when we when we felt they were done. The record was done when we felt it was done. So the process was very organic, and that was one thing that uh, that was really important to make sure that it came out the way we wanted to. Um, so the lyrics on this particular record, you know, we've Metal Church has never been done the satanic thing, and I'm not a fan of that whole thing. So we definitely didn't want to do that. We have always been kind of social conscious type of thing. So, but this record we wanted to take a little bit different approach lyrically, where we were more, it was more literal, lyric, lyrical rather than so on point, rather than what well, this song is about this, this song is about this, this song is about this. We just kind of wanted some sing phrases and things that sang well, so, we, so they'd be more musical. So, a lot of the stuff is kind of left for interpretation of the listener. And we wanted to get a little more creative in that department on this record and leave things a little bit more open and, again, not be so worried about everything has to be about this and has to be about something. So that's kind of the lyrical approach. Musical, it was just we wanted to be, have it to be traditional heavy metal, you know, yeah. just what Metal Church is known for. But lyric, lyrically, we wanted to take a little bit different approach. Yeah. Good. So uh, how has been the reaction uh, of your fans uh, during the live show? Oh, it's yeah. great. It's been amazing. I mean, it's great. And having Mike on stage, and he brings a whole new energy and a whole different type of energy to the band, too. So, I mean, you know, usually you're up on stage at a heavy metal band looking all serious and mm -hmm, like this. We just, we, we quit fighting it. So we're up there just having a blast. We're up there laughing and joking and smiling. And the audience, after a little while, they start picking up on that and going, Oh, yeah, yeah, whew, this is fun. Everybody's smiling, you know, and that's kind of what we yeah. want to do. We don't, you know, we want everybody to have fun and smile, have a good time. Yeah. That's music. That's what it's for. It's not to be like, I'm serious. It must death, be. Death and black like and blah. You know, it's like, yeah, I get it. That's all fine and dandy, but that's not us. Yeah. yeah, we're having fun. We're happy to be playing. We're grateful to be playing. And it's just a really good time in our lives right now. So, you know, we're, we want to share, we want to be able to be able to perform that way. Yeah. You know? yeah. And... Uh, um, today you are playing here at Porispere mm -hmm. and uh, tomorrow you are going to play at uh, the legendary festival uh, 
Wacken. Wa Wacken, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you expecting from heat? From Wacken? Yeah. Well, I'm expecting a big sea of muddy people, usually because it usually rains. You know, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be really good for this band uh, at this point in our career to play that. You know, in that crowd, and I think I think the crowd's going to like it too. They're going to see Metal Church in the you know a very good version of the band now, a, ver a, ba a version of the band that we're very proud of, and a version of the band that, that I think they're going to really enjoy. You know, and I think it's going to be I think it's going to we're going to be a good addition to the lineup for for Vodka tomorrow. So yeah. should be a lot of fun. And uh, what's about about this festival? Uh, what do you expect from? Oh well, this we've all, this is the second festival. yeah this is the second time we've ever played Finland, so it's uh, you know I, we're just really happy to be back here again because we, we love it. It feels it very much feels much like where we're from in the states, you yeah. know, geographical, all the trees and everything like that. And, it's uh, pretty quiet. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. We're it's relaxing be a lot of fun. atmosphere. Yeah, I love that. You know, that that's that's what it's all about. That's what to be the festival should be. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So we should have a really good time. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. So. Um, how do you view the metal scene uh, nowadays uh, compared to the 80s and 90s? What do I? How do I compare it to the 80s and 90s? The metal scene. Oh, how do I compare it now to the yeah. 80s and 90s? Uh, well, at least in America, comparing it now, I mean, it, it never goes away. I think it's probably a little bit more popular now just simply because it can be because of the advent of the internet and the way the new music business is um, so in a lot of ways for us it feels like the 80s because of you know we feel our careers taking off again a little bit so that's a wonderful feeling um, the 90s didn't pay a lot of attention to it so I don't even <laughs> I don't even know it was yeah. a really bad time for music um, but it was a uh, I don't know I, w I would have to say that there's a lot of comparisons to the 80s other than the fact that that it's not a uh, major label record company MTV driven. Yeah. Now it's driven by fans, which is the way it should be. Yeah. So, now yeah. it's more easy also to know other bands. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, exactly. Before it was hard if you don't know someone that listened to this band mm -hmm. or yep. if the band doesn't open a gig. Right, right. Yep. You can't know the band. Exactly, exactly. Now it's more easy. Yeah, it's exactly. So yeah, so it's and it's direct artists to fans. From our state of, you know, our point of view, it's great. You know, there's a lot of uh, corporate, you know, kind of stuff that's been eliminated out of the business, which is great for us. You know, because we just make the records ourselves and just do it ourselves. Yeah. If you have to choose a band as representative for the last uh, decade of uh, metal, which one could be? In your opinion, uh, to represent what the new metal is, new, yeah, or or, yeah. or my favorite, or both. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't have an answer for who would be a good representation of it because there's so many, and again, because of the industry, there's so many different genres that is all happening at the same yeah, time. It's hard to choose one. Yeah, I couldn't do it. But uh, my favorite metal band now. I, I don't know if they're metal, but well, they're certainly not metal. My, you know, a couple of my favorite bands. I have a couple current bands. Uh, Blackberry Smoke is one of my favorite bands, and The Darkness is one of my favorite bands. Neither one of them are really particularly metal. Um, I do think Anthrax's last couple of records are their, is their best work. I think they're doing. I think they're doing great. Their, their new album is awesome. You know, Megadeth's last record is great. So. You know, all you know, our peers and all these other bands are doing great work now. You know, and it, yeah. it's just a really good time. You know? Good. So um, after the summer, you are going to play around the United States uh, with Megadeth. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you expect about this tour, and what's your plan for the future? Well, the the tour is the next, obviously, the next thing. We have a couple surprises in the works right now that when we get home, we're going to be working on, and then we. Uh, uh, yeah, the Megadeth tour is going to be great for us to get out on, you know, get out of the club scene for a while. Uh, not the clubs are bad, but get on it, you know, get out there and, and do that kind of circuit, which is going to be really good. Um, so that we're very excited about and very, very blessed and very lucky to be, you know, to be, you know, things be going that well. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I've just started writing uh, material for the new record. Cool. And, um, and the Presto Ballet, my other uh, progressive rock band, has a new album coming out in uh, November. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. To yeah, so I'm, we will wait for it. That's great. <laughs> cool. Good. <laughs> Terrific. 
So we have done with this interview. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much uh, for oh, your time. It was you. really a pleasure. Thank you. I hope to see you again oh, here yes. in Finland well, or somewhere else back. in the world. Yes, exactly. And um, do you like to say something to your fans? Oh, well, it's, we love it up here. We, this is the only second time we've been here, and we really hope we can get back here, you know, a lot more. We get a lot more yeah. familiar with it because we love it up here. This is awesome. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you.